So I'm working on this job in St. Clair Shores, Michigan, and uh, it's got some thick uh, varnish on here, which uh, everybody knows stuff is uh, difficult to take off without using something really uh, heavy like 20 grit. 20 grit works all the time. Uh, 36 grit, you probably are going to plug up the paper. Sometimes it doesn't, but you might get lucky. So anyway, so I'm gonna put down, uh, show you what you do here. So this paper here, I've already done one, one bedroom already, and you can see it uh, looks really good. Did this ba bedroom, uh, bedroom right in here. So what you do is get yourself I've already sent a uh, video like this before, but this is the drum sander part before it was the edger. So same thing, you spray your spray your WD-40. It's actually just a uh, this actually works upside down or right side up. It's got a little uh, thing inside there, a little ball uh, valve. You can spray upside down. So I'm gonna spray the floor with uh, some WD-40. Uh, yeah, upside down. We can go right side up. Yep, see there. Spray the floor with. Uh, you don't want to put too much on it. Just a light mist across the floor. Of course, don't get it on the baseboard. This helps tremendously. I see about a 50% to a 75% um, change in longevity of my paper. So, I'm gonna set the phone or the uh, camera down here.
see that it's actually a 20 grit, I'm sorry, 30, it's a 40 grit, it's 40 grit sandpaper. And uh, you can see that thing is not even plugged up at all. Yep. Yeah, she looks really good. 40 grit on, uh, you can see a little bit of WD-40 on there. So that won't soak in because there's so much varnish on this floor. Uh, it usually doesn't soak into the cracks as long as you don't do too much. Uh, you don't want to soak it at all, just a light mist. You can see the, a little bit, uh, just a light mist on there. So, all right. Don't forget to like and subscribe to my videos. I have quite a few of them on there for uh, hardwood floors and automotive stuff.